So this very well means, Shima Girls, that today we are going to talk about hair shading again. I did a video about hair shading, but it seems that it's still such a big issue with a lot of the newbies because they become concerned when they see a lot of so-called so -called a lot of hair coming out of their scalp and they become concerned and curious and you know they want to know if their hair is falling out um, like most videos I don't particularly like to get technical but let's brush a little over some facts um, let's talk about the three stages of hair growth and the three stages of hair growth includes the antigen stage the catagen stage and the telogen stage okay so let's see what the antigen stage is all about okay this is the healthiest most normal phase where you get the healthiest hair the hair is actively growing and is deeply embedded into the follicle and is being properly nourished so if you're experiencing hair thinning your goal is really to get your hair in the antigen phase and keep it there for as long as possible the second phase is catagen the catagen stage is essentially when the hair begins to die off and gets ready to shed. Okay, this, the, again, the catagen stage is when the hair begins to die off. Even though our hair is already dead, what they're trying to say here is that the hair is shedding. You know, like a snake sheds its skin. And even ourselves, we shed skin too. So it's just basically shedding. Okay, um, it's, some people call it the dead hair phase. You can call it that yourself. The hair is no longer being nourished and is no longer actively growing. So, okay, so that takes care of the catagen stage. The catagen stage, again, is the shedding phase of the three stages of hair growth. The final phase, the final stage of hair growth is the telogen stage. Um, and that is when the hair falls out, although it's technically called the resting phase. So this is the resting phase okay um, hair stays in the face for about two months and then falls out okay so it's it's not really falling out right away it's resting in your hair it's already getting ready to fall out but according to the their description it's going to get ready to, to shed in two months so to speak okay so so what I always emphasize is Shedding about 100 hair strands per day is normal. This is normal. This is not an enormous amount of hair. Okay, so if your if your shedding looks something similar to this, and you have all this hair, you're doing a pretty good job. Remember, I have developed the techniques to learn how to comb my hair properly by now. So this could have been enormous, and it still would have been normal. It's just that I didn't have the technique to detangle my hair correctly and so I was contributing to the um, the hair shedding because I was yanking yanking um, the hair okay if the only time you should definitely get concerned is if your hair is falling definitely falling out and you start seeing seeing um, each time you look at your hair is thinning and thinning and thinning now that's cause for concern but if you don't see any thinning and thinning you don't have to become so concerned because what's happening to your body is actually very normal. So for folks that have an extreme amount of hair shedding during this stage, when the hair actually falls out, they experience an extreme amount of shedding, especially after having given birth or maybe changed up on their medication. And we're going to talk about all those causes for hair shedding. Because these are those the, um, childbirth and medication. Those are causes for hair shedding, and we're going to get into it. But before that, let me point out what I usually point out. As long as it's about 50 to 100 hair strands a day that you're shedding, that's considered normal. And you should know what's normal for you. So if you, for example, this is normal for me. Okay, this is what came out of my hair. And this is, this, this amount came out of my hair is actually a pretty good amount, a pretty normal, perfect amount because I already know the techniques to use to minimize the amount of hair that is shedded, you know. Um, out of 
out of my normal hair shedding because I know how to comb my, my hair correctly. I know how to wash my hair correctly. I know that I have to detangle my hair with my fingers first, then comb my hair from the ends on up. Because a lot of you ladies that are still newbies or have are st still need a lot of catching up to do re in regards to proper hair care are not detangling your hair correctly, combing your hair correctly, washing your hair correctly, uh, styling your hair correctly, and that's why you're adding to the amount of hair that you see on those hair combs and hair brushes. So try to look at what you're doing as well. But hair shedding, um, you know, it's very normal. But it, it, if it's not normal if it's, it's, if it's an extreme amount. Also keep in mind that um, everybody's body is different. Everybody's lifestyle is different. So, for example, if you have a hundred thousand hairs in your hair and hundred fall out, that's normal. But not everybody has a hundred thousand hair strands of hair, uh, you know, coming out of their head. Uh, so nobody loses the ex exact same thing, you know, when you compare person to person. For example, your sister might lose a hundred, you might lose one hundred and twenty. You know, that that's already surpassing the one hundred. Um, you should be losing, but it's not an extreme amount. If if you're losing about 200 hair strands, then yes, then you should you know look at it with a, a little bit not well. You should look at it with a lot more concern. Okay. Also, due to pregnancy and the changing of medication, um, your hair can be in a resting stage for uh, you know a lot longer because of those factors. And speaking of those factors and those causes, let's go in, let's get into them. Okay, stress. Stress is a big issue among black women and among people in general, but you know, among black women because I'm dealing with the black woman and there's a lot of stress going on in their lives and stuff like that, especially with the job lo losses. So that adds a lot of stress and, you know, what's going on in their family, you know, private things that may be going on in their family that they don't know how to deal with and that adds to the stress and, and that stress not only contributes to hair shedding but it's going to contribute to hair baldness eventually, okay? If you're experiencing a lot of stress, you know, try to do whatever you can to get to the root of the problem. Take deep breaths, exercise, eat healthy, talk to a trusted friend, or visit your doctor. Do what you can to, you know, get out of that stressful situation. Also, illnesses contribute to more hair shedding than, than usual. Severe flu, um, severe depression. Again, I already went over childbirth. Um, the medication you're taking, major surgery without anesthesia, I believe, um, hormonal changes. As women, we're always going through hormonal changes. <laughs> um, then menopause, or even your menstrual cycle might affect the amount of hair you're shedding. Um, thyroid problems, like an inactive thyroid. Um, okay. And not enough protein in your daily food intake. Okay. Also, your protein overload. When you're doing those protein treatments to your hair, uh, make sure you, you're reading those directions and following them closely. If they tell you to leave it on just for five minutes, leave it on for five minutes. Okay. If they tell you to use a dime size amount, use a dime size amount. Protein overload also causes hair shedding. Okay. Oh, and even hair breakage. Okay. So keep that in mind. Both both of them are, are not good if, if it's in the extreme amounts. Okay. Uh, now, is there a cure for hair shedding? No. There is no cure for hair shedding. Um, but there are techniques and ways to minimize hair shedding. Okay, so keep that in mind. There's no cure, but there are techniques and ways and methods and, and some products that, that are claim that a lot of ladies have used that claim that it helps them minimize hair shedding. And we're going to go into it that right now. For example, some ladies have taken garlic supplements and that has helped them minimize the amount of hair shedding that they have experienced. Um, these garlic supplements are usually in these large dark bottles. They will say 1,000 milligrams, they're soft gels. They can be bought at GNC or at Target or just go to the pharmacy section of your local supermarket you know, and ask for some garlic supplements or look around for some garlic supplements in the dietary section of the, of the store, okay?
um, other things that you can do to minimize hair shedding is stop eating out so much all the time, okay? Minimize the amount of hamburgers, like from McDonald's and Burger King, Wendy's, Kentucky Fried Chicken, you know. The reason for this is because these foods are very high in preservatives. You know, everything's synthetic. Almost everything is synthetic about them. And that's not healthy for our bodies, first of all. Why do you think we get fat so fast? <laughs> you know, it's, la it's loaded with fat, those foods. So y you should definitely keep that in mind just, just from, on that alone, you know. Um, and then, of course, you know, it's not good for the heart. Your cholesterol goes up. Um, it's, it's, a, it's very um, unhealthy. Okay, now there is this technique that has been revealed to me where you can test to see if your hair is starting to thin out. Okay, this is not like to see if your hair is shedding because you know your hair will be in your fingers regardless because of the dead hair that's shedding. This is to see if, if your hair is actually starting to thin out. And the technique involves you grabbing a handful of, of your hair, you know, maybe 15 or 20 strands of it. I think got a little bit more than 15 or 20 strands. But you know, this is just a quick example. And this is just a quick example. Then you just start tugging on it you know, uh, firmly, you know, that's if you're going to pull your hair out. Now, if your hair is thinning, you, it, you, don't have, you, you don't have to pull so hard because it will automatically come out in your hands. So, so if six to ten hair strands come out in your hand very easily, then you should get a little bit concerned. Your, your hair might be starting to thin. Now, this, this is a, a simple strand tug test here, okay? You're just tugging on your hair. Okay. Okay. Nothing came out in my fingers or in my hands. So she must say it's perfectly okay. It's not thinning. So you can do this at home if if you want to see if your hair is thinning or not. But you know, do not become so concerned unless you're actually seeing obvious thinning parts of your hair because your which came out of your your finger. Well, okay. Because if you do the strand test and some hairs come out, it's, I don't think it necessarily means your hair is starting to thin. Maybe those were um, shedding hairs already that you haven't calmed out yet. Okay, so, you know, just, you know, don't take it that seriously. You know, it, seeing is believing. If you see your hair is starting to thin in certain parts, like obvious bald spots, spots are starting to show, then that's cause for alarm. Okay, so again, as a recap, the three cycles of hair growth involves the antigen stage, number one, the catagen stage, number two, and the telogen stage, which is number three. And we went over the causes of, you know, uh, of facts, factors that may contribute to an extreme amount of hair shedding. Okay, so, you know, consider those facts before you become alarmed. You know, maybe you, you need to reduce the amount of stress in your life. Maybe you need to take a look at the medication you're you're, you're taking, maybe you just recently gave birth, you know, maybe you have a severe, severe flu, um, you know, you, you need to take a look at those factors. But the main thing that I think <laughs> contributes to the hair shading, I mean, I mean, uh, uh, trust me on this, is the, the way that we are styling and combing our hair. You know, some of us are still doing this improperly. We're yanking our hair, especially in, in when, when we're washing our hair in the bathroom, okay, we're not taking the time to detangle our hair. We need to take the time to detangle our hair, okay, so we, we can minimize the amount of hair that's, that shows on our combs and hair brushes, okay. So other than that, um, there's no cause for alarm. Shema girls, hair shedding is normal. There's no cure for hair shedding, but there are methods and techniques that you can use to minimize hair shedding. Okay, and that's all for today. Bye. <laughs>
of hair shedding when you remove those protective styles okay so when you remove your French twist after two weeks your, your hair was shedding during that um, time period and so it's gonna seem like it's gonna be an enormous amount of hair coming out of your head and this is this is the part where a lot of you definitely do get concerned because you are practicing the protective styles and that concerns you and scares you when you see that much it's because the hairs we're accumulating day after day. We remember 100 hair strands a day that you're losing 100 today, 100 tomorrow, 100 more the third day. And by the time 14 days are over, it's, you know, it will go up in the thousands, okay? So some thousands of dead hair that has been shedded normally is going to come out of that French twist when you unravel that French twist or when you unravel your French braid, okay? So... That's no cause for alarm. It's just that the hairs were accumulated inside that pro protective style during that period of time you had your protective style. And the longer you put, have your protective style in place, maybe two months, three months, like for the braids, we keep it on pretty long, even though you shouldn't see two months because, you know, the dreaded hair growth and it becomes more difficult to detangle. Um, you're going to see a lot of dead hair coming out. <laughs> All right. And if you're still not... Um, you know, skillful in detangling those protective styles correctly, you're going to be yanking even more hair, okay? So keep that in mind. When you wear protective styles and then you remove your protective style, you're going to see more dead hair, more shedded hair than you normally would see if you had your hair loose, okay? That's it. <laughs> Bye again.